So, John, you've been at this for a long time. For, for nearly 30 years, you've been covering business and, and business schools. And, uh, you know, I think to get us started, if you could tell me, what, what do you think is, has been the biggest or most interesting storyline over the course of those uh, three decades? You've, you've written about and with the folks like, uh, like Jack Welch and, and uh, Al Dunlop and John Mackey, you know, and... and I, I'd say the single biggest thing has been globalization, uh, although technology is really tied into this. Uh, you know, years ago, most companies really looked at their own markets, um, produced for their own markets. Today, it is truly a global enterprise. I mean, think about Apple, the most valuable company in the world, and think about the fact that they make virtually no products at all uh, in their home country. and. And that is not a drawback. In fact, that's a massive competitive advantage because they're able to, yes, arbitrage labor rates, but gain the efficiencies of a country that is really, you know, totally world class in manufacturing today, China. And uh, globalization is controversial and provocative because people lose jobs mm -hmm. over it and people gain jobs over it. Uh, and the losers tend to be, you know, the economies that are more mature and, and, um, and more subtle. So th that's a big trend. And I think that's a trend that's moved into the business school world in a very big way. I think like many things that happen in life, it happens in the real world first. <laughs> and then it tends to, to migrate into the, the world right. of scholarship and academia. And that's definitely true in, in globalization and true to a great extent in technology. Uh, technology also, also helped to make the world more global because it's made the world so much smaller. So those two trends have been extremely powerful. I think they've informed uh, business, they've informed society, they've informed all of our individual lives. I mean, when I think about what change I've seen in my uh, lifetime, I'm shocked by it, right? Uh, when I started writing, um, I wrote on a typewriter. There were no computers. Uh, there were no cell phones. There was no internet uh, that made all kinds of information available at your fingertips. There was no way to communicate with people uh, instantaneously no matter where they were all over the world. You literally uh, either had to pick up a phone and try to find a connection to a distant land or you had to put your pen in hand and write a letter, <laughs> lick a stamp, and put it in the mail and hope that it got there two weeks later. I mean, basically. Right. Uh, and I think, you know, so many people take all that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Now, there are pluses and minuses to all this, both for education and for our lives. Our lives have become uh, much more transparent in public. Mm -hmm. um, there many violations of privacy. Sure. Uh, the access to technology has meant that people feel like they're on a leash uh, to their employer, and many people are. Uh, even the access to air travel, you know, only a quarter century ago, people just didn't pick up and jump on a plane and go wherever they wanted to go at any time they ever wanted to sure. go. It, was, it had to be planned, it had to be thought about, uh, it was much more expensive. Uh, most people couldn't afford just to jump on a plane uh, and visit a relative halfway across the country. It's, it's, it's a different world. Mm -hmm.